Jack Test 1 2. Hello, welcome to Rob's Challenge. Hello there, and welcome back to Rob Chapman's channel. Today we're at Toman, having so much fun. Toman. Stop! Sounds good. Sounds great. I played well then. The tone was miraculous. Yeah. But what if people can't afford a 3,700 European ingot of joy guitar from Pori Smith? Then maybe we should find a cheaper one and mod the crap out of it. Well, here we are. We are here. In Toman, where we have possibly every guitar ever constructed, built, or conceived of in the Baston Spiral Arm of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. What should we pick? Probably a Chapman. Probably a Chapman. <laughs> well, but. That'd be a bit is, conceited, wouldn't it? It would be a little bit kind of, I'm here, therefore a chap. We could take a look at them. I mean, we might as well. There they are, proudly displayed. And they look really cool. This is my personal favourite at the moment. I've been playing a lot of it. This is one of the best guitars I've ever played in my entire life for 519 euros. But, yes, that's quite a lot of money. No, that's too much. As we're at Tolman, yes. why don't we um, sort of shoe in a Harley Benton? I will shoe in a Harley Benton if we can both put our shoes there and do a shoe close-up. Shoe! Do you want to go <laughs> single cut? Well, you played the Les Paul earlier. Uh, well, I, do you want a Les Paul? Yeah. I mean, I absolutely loved that Les Paul that my wife won't let me buy. So It's official now. She will not let you buy it. Well, no, it's not she won't let me buy it. It's just that, to be fair, we need to buy a car. And she said, tell you what, you can buy it if we can fit two child seats on it and drive it somewhere. And I thought... There are many things you could do with a Les Paul, that isn't one of them. But we could look for a Harley Benton that was shaped in a familiar way. In a I really enjoyed cut. that. It's good, it's like... Mime, but with words. Yeah, so, so for example, not this. No. Which is clearly Guthrie Govan's uh, counterpart. Or, definitely not this, which looks like something... And definitely not that one, because Chris has just taken it. <laughs> something that... <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that Mr. Smith would have, would have made. Yeah. Uh, Mr. P.R. Smith. Mr. John. And, um, but maybe, maybe this, which looks a lot like a Lester Pablo and is the staggering amount of... 129 euros. 120. What's really funny is that it doesn't say that on the back of the sticker at all. But you know that price. I know how much these are. Because every time I come here, I think, I might just take one of those, you know, for the weekend. 129 euros. Yeah. So <clears throat> I think we should do everything possible to this guitar. So, Here's the cool thing about working at Toman. We, <laughs> we, we get to do anything we want with guitars. Yeah. So um, I've already cleared with marketing and Andy. And they said, yeah, Rob, you can put pickups into mm -hmm. a guitar. You can you know, plaque it, you can do whatever you want. So, so we're going to make this a non-guitar and then make it into a guitar again? Yes. We're, we're going to take everything off? Everything. Well, take the pickups off, take the stop tail, take the hard tail, take the tuners off, take the nut off. Um, wiring coming take, out? Take the pickup guard off, uh, take the strings off, take, take the, the wiring out. out. Maybe start with the, the strings. We take the wiring out as well. Yeah, how's it? <laughs> and we'll just put everything new on it and see how good we can get it. Uh, I reckon, I think we're going to get it quite good. But the question is, yes. once we've smacked all of these dirty mods into this guitar, yeah. if we then work out the value of the new guitar... With and mods? Then, yes. With new parts? With new parts. New and price. then pitch it against another guitar of the same value, like it. which would be better? So we better check this guitar before we modify it to make sure that we know how it sounds now and to make sure that we've made it better. That's a good idea. So before I even play a note, I have noticed it was quite difficult to tune. It looks great, it feels nice, mm -hmm. but the tuning stability is a little bit awry. Okay. I also noticed that this volume knob, volume knob, knob, slightly grates when you turn it against the body, so it's just been set a little bit low. Any initial first reactions? Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Were you expecting I, I that? Played, I definitely wasn't expecting that, but I'm really glad you did it. 
Okay, let's let's just tone test it. See how it sounds. Tone test it. It's already out of tune. <laughs> so that's to do with the strings being really skinny and these tuners being a little bit affordable. I mean, it is 129 euros. And again, it's already out of tune. So I'm gonna pass it to, to Andy and see if you can, you Thanks, can get mate. it to play. Well, yeah, this uh, is one of those things where if we just gave it a setup, yeah. spent a bit of time, maybe did a restring, it would stick in tune, everything would be fine. Doesn't need modding at this stage. No. Just needs a little bit of care and But also I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the bridge humbucker. Okay. Tuning. <laughs> okay, I, I, I can't handle. Well, you know what? What's that? We should just <laughs> modify this to within an inch of its life mm. and see if that makes things better. Oh, wow, that was quick. That was immensely that quick. That was really easy to do. Or, or was it? <laughs> or did we get Chris to uh, spend five hours? Five hours working on this guitar. And now it is an absolute beast. It's a belter. A belter. Belter. It looks it, pretty pretty from the front. It looks really nice. I specifically love these nubs that I chose. And also, a really nice thing that Chris did for us is remove the poker chip. P -p -p poker chip. Um, we should run down the spec sure. and play it. Yes. Somewhere that sounds really nice though. Big back in the room. Boogie Mark 535 blazing behind. Why are you laughing already? Just so much alliteration there, I couldn't man. handle it. I just can't help myself, Andy. That's I'm a big fan of alliteration, so. I'm, I'm, an, even, I'm an even bigger fan of, of alliteration. Um, we did a lot of things to this. Now it's really expensive. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd better compare it to something of a similar price. This, the tribute Les Paul from Gibson 2019 mm. um, in this tobacco burst. Yes. This is totally stock. Um, and has everything as it would be out of the box, this ain't. Hey dude, it's totally stark, yeah. Uh, which would you rather have at the moment? This is the question I have for the, the viewers. Okay, I'm not going to influence you. <laughs> Neither am I. Um, this has been radically altered. Yes. Shall we run down all of the alterations, starting with the top and then kind of progress down um, in, a, in an undressing way? Firstly, mm. with the back, um, hip shot locking tuners. A good choice. In my opinion, making the biggest difference to this guitar, other than the pickups. Really? Yes. Okay, let's go. We had some tuning stability issues before. Yes, we did. They they were, I mean, if you'd stretched it, restrung it, set it up, taken a bit of time, that would have gone away. But this has immediately resolved the issue. And then on this side. Our wonderful friend, Chris, has added, at our request, a brass nut. Here's the thing, though. It wasn't quite tall enough. Mm -hmm. So underneath it, do you know what he did? No. He added a very thin layer of ebony. Okay. So to the best of my knowledge, this is the first <laughs> <laughs> mahogany, ebony, brass, nut situation to ever have occurred. Then what do we do here, Andy? Um, we plecked it. We did. Well, we didn't. The pleck machine plecked it. Yes, we gave it to a robot who made it better for us. Um, and then we put Paradigm 10 to 52 strings on it, which is which is obviously the best string at the moment. I'm not biased in, in that uh, personal opinion. Uh, it's just, it's an absolute fact. Uh, what strings would you put on it? I have 
been turned on to these only balls, but I would probably would have gone, I'm on a big Fender nickel at the moment, but that would have been the wrong choice for this guitar. Well, not necessarily. I think you can put Fender on a Gibson. But, well, you can, but then it wouldn't be, I knew that we were going to go for something else, some kind of comparison. It's true. I'm happy to go into the world of the unknown for me and go with your choice. I, yes, I don't like the unknown. I fear the unknown. You should. Uh, we removed the poker chip, which I think is cool. I chose some nice new knobs that I think look really nice. You chose these bits, didn't you? What are these bits? Uh, this, uh, Chris actually chose this one. Oh, he did? And he tells me this is a brass covered in nickel. Am I right there? Right. I, I'm just going to, yes, you're right. I have no idea. We tried, we tried for the, the chrome nickel-y looking one, the ABM. It didn't fit. Right. And Chris did an amazing job of actually hand routing oh, he did. these holes here that the, yeah. the bolts go into because it, it didn't fit. Yes, in so, five hours of manual labor on this guitar. This, what is this? The Goto um, metric Japanese um, saddle block thing and it just dropped straight in. We were right. very lucky there. It fit. And then we've got a Seymour Duncan Jazz. Jazz. And then what was this? This is the bare knuckle true grit to the bridge. And as if that wasn't enough, we then did all the wiring. Mm. It's an entirely new wiring loom. I, I like the way you're saying we, by the way. We, well, did, we did nothing. We didn't do anything at all. No, we just, we just, Chris, can you just do all of that for us, please? But um, Chris Broski, <laughs> Kairis Broski, uh, Andrew Fairies. <laughs> Sorry, just having a bit of fun with an American accent. Uh, so all this work was done. Now it's a different guitar. How much is it worth? If you ignore the manual labor time. Okay, so if we ignore Chris's five hours of manual labor, it's going to come in at about 1,000 euros. If you add in the manual labor, which I think was 275 euros worth of work, then you obviously get like 131275. One, well, you get 1,275, Rob. Quick maths. Mm. Uh, how much is that worth? About 1,000. So it's a little bit low, mm -hmm. but only a touch. If you, uh, if you did the work yourself, you're basically there, aren't you? Yeah. Um, again, we've had Chris set this one up, so it's all good. The, I believe the new Gibsons all come plecked anyway. I believe that. I don't know whether they all come plecked. I had no idea. But, but I know that a lot of them do come plecked. But we should really compare them. So let's start off by... I'm just going to play it. That's a good idea. Then I think you should play it. Okay. Then we should just compare notes. Immediately, it feels better than it did. It feels a lot better than it did, for sure. So, I can't tell whether it sounds better than it did. Well, we, we're using a different setup using for the start. Using a different setup, yeah. Um, yeah. But if immediately, feel, I mean, Chris is a legend. He is. So he could take any guitar and make it feel amazing. He's legendary. Could he make my head feel better after the alcohol we consumed last night? He's so legendary that he could sort of sort out your lactose intolerance. If he could, yeah. <laughs> In fact, actually, someone else did that earlier. Uh, it feels better to play. Yeah. It feels like it sounds better to play. Is it 600 pounds better? No. No. What, what? Straight off, it's the neck. It's the feel of the neck. It's, um, 
I love a bare neck. Not a bare neck, but a, <laughs> a, a non-poly feeling coated neck. So I, immediately I, I hate it. I'm exactly the same. But what we didn't do, but we could have done, is we could have asked Chris to sand that down. Would have added another two hours of labour. Would have made a world of difference. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think we missed a trick there. But, so is it that if you take an affordable guitar and bolt on bits, it's like the law of diminishing returns. Just adding bits that are expensive doesn't make the guitar better. It's, it's really about feel as well. Mm. So the neck is, is that important? Well, play a little bit more on the neck and see, see if you connect a bit more yeah, irrespective sure. of the neck feel for you. <laughs> I don't know if we can tell because of the different setup, but I had an issue in the beginning with the differences between the two pickups. So the bridge wasn't giving me enough bridge and the neck wasn't giving me enough neck. Yeah. I'm now hearing a significant difference. Okay. You know, I've got two different tones is what I'm saying. And the tuning stability is a million percent better. Yeah, it's still not amazing. But the, and the feel is better. Mm. So can I just play a couple of crunch tones? No. And then, <laughs> and then we should play this. Yes, we should. And see what the difference is. And by the way, what we haven't said What's that? Is that we're giving this away. Oh, not this. No, that not one. that. This one. This one, we're giving it away. And all we require that you do, if you would like to win this absolutely ridiculous high-end Frankenstein Harley Benton guitar, is this. Play a lick, a single lick, with a random number of notes that Andy will choose now. 23. You have 23, <laughs> that's too many notes. Two. Make it between one and two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go for the classic, nine. Okay, you have nine notes within which to write and compose your own lick. You can then film yourself playing this lick, please show us your hands, upload it to YouTube, make sure that the title says Toman Lick Competition, and then dash, and then your name. What we will do is go onto YouTube after one month of the competition being live, and you'll see all the details in the description box below, including the terms and conditions which will apply. And this is available worldwide, by the way. And we will sort all of the videos with that title and then we'll watch as many of them as is humanly possible. And I will pick a winner. So will Andy. Two winners? We'll pick one together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll have a conference. I love the sound. A conference call. Good. From Austria and England. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm down with that. Good luck, everybody. Terms and conditions reply. One thing that I had completely forgotten and Rabir Massad definitely reminded us about is that it has coil splits. So now we get to try those as well. I'll start on the little neck picker. <laughs> Nice. I'm really impressed with that. I think that sounds really good. Let's go right bright. Well, that's two more things that it can do. Can you do that? I don't know. Can you do that? Let's find out. Do you feel like you connect more with that guitar? Yeah. You do? Straight away. It's the neck, isn't it? It is. Mm. I feel like I could uh, have a little journey, a little relationship with this guitar. Where would you go? I would go to Aruba. Aruba? <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of that place. Hi, Aruba. Uh, it's funny how the smallest things make the biggest difference. Or is it just that it's a Gibson? There is a little bit of my brain knowing that I'm playing a Gibson. Yeah. However, it's, it's a, the neck profile is a little thinner than I like. Right. And that's a little fatter, which I do like. But if you look at the specification, which one would you go for? Knowing what's inside, so, so do, I know, do I know what's inside? You or know what's looking inside, at it? Yeah, yeah. I would choose that from the blind test, like if I was ordering one without playing them. Yeah. I'd expect more from that. Quite happy with this. Well, let me try that one too. Let's do that I then. think I've come to my own 
conclusion on the situation. May that's, I have my plectrum? That's back heavier then. <laughs> it's like a it's like a serving dish of meat. <laughs> It's fair enough to say this is a better guitar. This is a better guitar. What I've learned... What have you learned, Rob? ...is that there's some kind of law of diminishing returns mm -hmm. with adding stuff onto a guitar. So this is a great guitar. This is better for the same money. Yes. If we had just changed the tuners and just changed the pickups, I think it would have been absolutely worth it. I think there's a maximum you can mod a guitar to. Exactly. This one is 129 euros? There's a said. modification threshold. Yeah, so had we gone to... There's the SC550, yeah. which is a better base model. Right. I would have liked to have done that. Okay. Because that's a better, a better well, start. Should we start this video again? Let's do that. Yeah, we'll just... Come on. <laughs> <laughs> come, come back. This is still a great guitar, but... Time my pick. We did too many modifications, but I think that was the whole point of this video. We over it. We over, we over it. Too much Chris made it too good. However, but, when, you, when you played that last little part on that Gibson, yeah. I have to say I preferred the sound of this. Oh, really? Benton. I preferred the sound of this because I like the low end and low mm -hmm. mid that was in it. I like the aggression that was in this, this uh, bridge. Well, that's entirely a subjective choice, as is whether or not this is a better guitar than this now. Well, that choice is up to you. Which do you prefer? Please tell us in the comments section below. And uh, if you'd like to win this, don't forget to enter our competition. Play yourself a lick, put it on YouTube, and a month from now, when this video is live, we'll be choosing a winner. Terms and conditions will apply. You guys take it considerably easy. Yeah, and, I, well, it's been a pleasure. We haven't ended a lot of videos together. We haven't, have so we? So we haven't come up with a way of doing we it. We haven't done it. <laughs> I know, we just look at the camera, sort of menacingly. Well, that doesn't work. No, 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 look at it, and it just fades out. Okay. That'd be really good. Okay.